To start writing SQL using MySQL, you have to install both MySQL and MySQL Workbench and then connect the two. Alice Zhao here from Maven Analytics, and in this video, I'll be walking step-by-step -step through how to do this on a Mac. The first step for installing MySQL on a Mac is to go to this website here and to download MySQL Community Server. This is the open source version of MySQL. Now, once you get to that website, you'll see three drop-down menus, and you're gonna have to select the version, operating system, and OS version. For the version, currently the latest version is 9.1.0, but these versions are constantly changing. So just pick the latest version. Then for operating system, you can choose Mac OS. And then for the OS version, if you have an older version of a Mac with an Intel processor, you're gonna choose x86. And then if you have a newer version of a Mac with an M1, 2, or 3 chip, you're gonna choose ARM. If you're unsure how to find this information about your computer, in just a minute, I'll be walking through this in a lot more detail within the demo. Now, once you select your version, OS, and OS version, then on the bottom here, you'll see a line called DMG Archive, and then to the right of that, there will be a download button. So you can click that download button, and it's gonna direct you to this other web page. You'll see buttons for logging in and signing up, but you don't have to do either one of those. You can just click, no thanks, just start my download, and that will download this DMG file onto your computer. Then you can double click on that, and that's gonna turn into this .pkg file. And then if you double click on that, that will start the installer for you. And then with the installer, you can just select all the defaults and click continue and allow until you get to this step here that asks you for a password. You're gonna enter in a password here, and it's really important to note down that password because in a few steps from now, we're gonna use that to get started with MySQL Workbench. All right, so we just went through all these steps here. At this point, you can pause the video and go through these steps on your own. If you'd like a little bit more guidance, I'm gonna be going through a demo of all these steps here in a lot more detail. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to the MySQL website. And from here, you can see three menu options. The first thing I'm gonna do is select the version and I'm gonna choose 9.1.0. These versions are constantly changing, but you can just choose the latest version. Next, for operating system, you're gonna to wanna to select Mac OS. And then for the OS version, you have the option of ARM or x86. Now to figure out which one you need for your machine, you can go to the top left here and click on the Apple icon and then click about this Mac. And if you see chip, Apple, M1, 2, or 3, you're gonna go with the ARM option. And instead, if you see processor and then lots of text followed by Intel, then you're gonna choose the x86 version. So if we go back here to our options, again, if you see M1, 2, or 3, you're gonna choose the ARM option. And then if you see Intel processor, then you're gonna choose x86. So for me, I have an M3 chip, so I'm gonna choose ARM. And then if I go down here, I look for DMG archive, and then I'm gonna click the download button on the right. And now on this screen, I see login and sign up, but I'm gonna do neither and say, no thanks, just start my download. Now that's gonna take a moment to download, and once it's done, we can go to our Finder window. All right, the download is done, so I'm gonna click Finder to get us to the Finder window. And now you see here, within the Downloads folder, I have this .dmg file. So I can double click on that, and that will open up this PKG installer for me. So I can double click on that once again. And now it's asking if I should allow this software, and I'm gonna say yes, allow this software. And from here, I'm just gonna choose the default options. So I'm gonna say continue, continue, I agree to this, continue, install. Now I'm gonna enter in my computer password for this and click install software. And now I get to this screen with the password. So it's really important here to enter in a password that you're gonna remember later, and it has to have at least eight characters. Now once you enter in a password that meets the requirements, you can click finish. And once again, I'm going to enter in my computer password. So I'm gonna click close here and move my installer to the trash. And that completes the MySQL installation. Once you install MySQL, the next step is to install MySQL Workbench. Hey there, if you're enjoying this tutorial, just so you know, it's actually a part of my full 13 hour advanced SQL querying course at Maven Analytics. So if you want more hands-on practice and full length lessons, check out the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. And the first step is to go to this website here to download MySQL Workbench. Now, once you get to that website, 
the first thing you'll see is two menu options. First, you're gonna select an operating system, which is Mac OS, and then you're gonna select an OS version. And this is gonna be the same OS version that you selected with MySQL. So either x86 for an older Mac or an ARM for a newer Mac. Then again, once you select those, you'll see the DMG archive option, and then you can click the download button from there. And once again, you're gonna to get to this new web page asking you to log in or sign up, but you can just click, no thanks, just start my download. And from there, it's gonna download another DMG file for you. And once you double click on that, it's gonna open up this window. And what you need to do here is drag that MySQL Workbench icon on top of the applications icon. And with that, if you open up your finder window within your applications, you should now see MySQL Workbench. And then if you double click on that, that will open up MySQL Workbench for you. So once again, here are all the steps we just went through. You can pause this video and go through these steps on your own, or you can watch me go through a demo of all these steps in a lot more detail. The first thing we're gonna do here is go to the MySQL website, and this time we're going to the Workbench webpage. And now from here, we can choose our operating system, which is Mac OS. And then for our OS version, you're gonna pick the exact same option that you chose in the MySQL installation. So ARM for a newer Mac with a M1, 2, or 3 chip, and then x86 for an older Mac with an Intel processor. So I have an M3 chip, so I'm gonna choose ARM, and then down here, I'm gonna look for DMG archive and click the download button. Now again, I can click no thanks, just start my download, and that will download the MySQL Workbench installer for me. Okay, here is the installer. I'm gonna click the folder to get to the finder, and here within my downloads, I see this .dmg file. I'm gonna double click on that, and now with this pop-up window here, I'm gonna take this MySQL Workbench icon and drag it on top of applications. Now once I do that, if I go to my Finder and my Applications, and I scroll down, I will see MySQL Workbench. And now if I double click on that, that will open up MySQL Workbench for me. The first time you'll get this pop-up window, and you can just click Open, and that opens up MySQL Workbench. So at this point, you are done with the MySQL and MySQL Workbench installation. If you're looking for more ways to level up your SQL skills, check out our self-paced courses, guided projects, and portfolio showcase at Maven Analytics and create your personalized learning plan for free. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. See you in the next one.